Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen. Now, uh, Pastor Joanne, now the Lord has spoken with me. This past night, the Lord spoke with me in a very, very mega way again about the upcoming revival in Nigeria. It looks like all the delegation of heaven is now focused on the big visitation that is coming up in Lagos, Nigeria. And indeed, Nigeria must be a very special country to the Lord in the manner of consistent and persistent conversation that he has engaged me on regarding the big revival of Lagos, Nigeria. The Bible says in the book of Amos chapter 9 verse 11, it says in several versions, of course, it says in one of the versions, it says, In that day I'll raise up the fallen booth of David and wall up its breaches. I'll also raise up its ruins and rebuild it as in the days of old. And then it says, again, in the other versions, In that day, I'll restore David's fallen tent, David's fallen shelter. I'll repair its broken walls and restore its ruins and will rebuild it as it used to be. Another says, In that day, I'll restore the fallen house of David. I'll repair its damaged walls from the ruins. I'll rebuild it and restore its former glory. Now, the Lord has spoken with me about the big, big restoration that is coming to the church in Nigeria, the big work that the Lord, the God of heaven, is planning to undertake and make the church in Nigeria. And in this past evening, the Lord, in the past night, the Lord spoke with me about the healing service. He spoke to me in three different phases about that mega visitation. And in that conversation, the Lord said, when he brings me to the meeting of the Lord in Nigeria and Lagos, you'll open the heavens. The heavens will open and I see a very big visitation that takes place there, the massive healing of people. And there is this particular woman that the Lord heals and he brings her close to me in this conversation. She, she, she's tied her head and, uh, and, uh, she's tied her head with, uh, the African clothes, the, the, the colored, but I think it's green. It has mixed color of flowers or whatever it is, but mixed colors of green. There's green in it also in the color. And her eyes look reddish. I think she was blind. And the Lord opens her eyes now. The, the, the Lord removes her from blindness. I see her now. The Lord brings her to me. And her eyes, the Lord focuses me on her eyes, and her eyes open. So her blind eyes open. And that speaks about a very massive visitation that will take place down the, up, up there in Lagos. And the Lord is coming in a major way to visit his people. He's coming to establish the reign of the kingdom of the gospel in that land. And uh, many, many blind eyes will open. And uh, m- many people will be healed from different conditions. The cripples will walk. The deaf, the mute, the paralytic, the spinal cord injuries, the tumors, the fibroids. is going to really visit that land. There must be something very special about that land that the Lord is, the Lord is routing for. And then it takes a very short time, and then the Lord speaks with me again about the visitation in Nigeria. And this time he takes me to the homes of the Nigerians. And there is this woman whose baby, I, I see a lot of people running towards the man of God with their different conditions. But there's this woman that lays her baby, I even see her right now, lays her baby down in front of the man of God. And uh, these are sick people. And the Lord 
does a mega healing across these people. And, and so he takes me to their homes, their homes, their homes, several homes. I enter their homes. I'm able to enter and I'm able also to walk by the street and see the doors and the homes as they're sitting out by the doors. And, uh, then the Lord showed me the big healing that he's bringing into that land. So that means the Lord is bringing the tremendous works of the blood of Jesus into their homes and families. He's going to heal the Nigerian homes, the Nigerian families. He's going to do a restorative work, going to restore the church in Nigeria. And then after a while, he shows me again another. But key among the things he shows me is look how fresh the anointing will be that is prepared for Nigeria, that will visit Nigeria when you get there. And so these are very important times in the history of the church, the time at which the Lord has finally again remembered the church. He has now remembered the church, and uh, in this last phase, the Lord is saying that all this visitation is geared towards preparing a holy church, a righteous church. Yeah? He's preparing a, a godly church, a church that is mature, the church that is upright, in right standing with the Lord, the church that has no stain or wrinkle. And again, if I am to repeat this, the Lord has spoken with me in three different phases this past night about the tremendous visitation that will take place in Lagos, Nigeria. At this moment, it's as though the heavenly focus, the heavens are focused on Nigeria, on the mission that takes place in Lagos, Nigeria. I do not know what will happen there with this kind of conversation, persistent and consistently focused on Lagos, Lagos, the city of visitation. This might as well be the ignition of a huge revival that will rock that country and prepare her finally for the coming of the Lord. The church must be in the proper place, the proper mindset to receive this visitation and champion and take leadership and, and, and lead the nation toward holiness and righteousness for the coming of the Messiah. So the Lord is now preparing the way across the continents and this time around is coming this big move of God, the wave of repentance and holiness, this tremendous tsunami that is sweeping across the nations and preparing the highway of holiness that you see in Isaiah chapter 35 verses 8 and 9. This train, this train is finally coming to make a stop in Nigeria. And if the people of Nigeria will come on board, if the church in Nigeria will come on board, if the land of Nigeria will come on board, then they will live with this train towards the glorious kingdom of my Lord Jehovah, Jehovah Yahweh, the holy God of Israel. So the Lord is sending me to Nigeria, and I see the tremendous power. I've seen these blind eyes that will open, the babies that will be healed, the big throbbing of joy and revival that will rock the homes and the families. I have walked into their homes. And again, the presence of the Lord and the footprint of the Lord will be vivid in their homes, in the lives of the Nigerians. So as the nations prepare for the coming of the Messiah, the heavenly delegation, the heavenly hosts are now all trained and everything now is focused on the big mission in Nigeria. And this should also be a lesson to other nations that have not been visited, that let each nation, let them vie, let them fight for their visitation, that every nation be given the opportunity of witnessing this humongous mega historic revival before the Messiah comes. I have seen a massive visitation. The open heavens unleashed over Nigeria. There's going to be a shifting in the church. He's going to use that to rebuke the gospel of money, the gospel of private aircrafts that you see the Nigerian pastors are flying around with. This gospel of wealth and homes and what and many. Eh? 
themselves with the expensive suits they are bought from America, from London, from Paris, from Australia, Canada, whatever it is they preach, the expensive hair of their wives, yeah? how their wives' hair are expensive to maintain. The Lord is now sending me to rebuke that gospel and reestablish the gospel of the cross and the blood of Jesus. And so these are the days that were spoken about in the Bible. And this is he about whom it was spoken that I shall send my messenger ahead of you to prepare you away for that glorious day. May those who have ears listen to what the Lord is saying to the nations. Shalom and shalom and shalom. <laughs>